Today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to create a Hello World widget in Geneva Service Portal. To set the stage, I've already created a basic widget and put it on the page. I've added some basic bootstrap markup with a panel and a button, and I've also tied it to the client script using ng-controller. When I view it on the page, it looks like this. So now, to get started, let's create a simple Angular data binding using ng-model. Now we want to put everything on the data object as that's what's coming from the JSON data producer. And now if we take a look at this, let's save that. And now we have a simple data binding. So whatever I type will show up after the word hello. So now let's go back and make it do something. So now the first thing we're going to do, let's create a function and let's call it get user. Now everything's going to need to be on scope so we can access it. And let's put an alert statement in there real quick so we can see that we've clicked on it. Now, to be able to click on it, we're going to need to put an ng click on the button. And get user. And let's try this out. Cool, it works. Next, I'm going to want to call the JSON data producer from the controller. So to do this, I'm going to need to use something called sputil. And we're going to want to call a method uh, called getWidgetURL. And we're going to pass in scope. And let's assign this to a variable called dataURL. Okay. Now to make the Ajax call, we're going to use the HTTP POST method. And we'll need to import that. So first, for the parameters, let's pass in the data URL. And we'll pass in scope.data. Then it's the callback success function. And the success function is going to have a response from the server. So now we can use Angular Extend to put the response.data back on scope. There we go. So in Geneva, the way you can tell if the data producer is being called from the controller is by checking for the input variable and you have to make sure that the type of is not equal to undefined. Okay. So now, anytime we are in here, this means that we're now being called uh, from the controller. And in the JSON data producer, it's just server-side JavaScript. So we have access to Glide Record or any server script that you're used to running on ServiceNow. So just as a quick example, I'm going to bring back uh, a user based on the, imp the username that's being passed into the input. Here we can use input.username because whatever was on scope.data has now been assigned to input. So 
So now if all of this has worked correctly, I should be able to do data.user and then by typing in admin, I should be able to see the name of the user. Okay, there we go, it worked. Now this is super cool because what we've essentially done is we've taken the username run it through the controller which is making a call back to the server fetching the name of the user putting it back in scope and angular and then displaying it on the page we're making a complete full cycle here which is really amazing with when you look at literally how much code we've written it's pretty simple but what we can accomplish with this method is amazing um, but that's all i got for you guys today but hope you guys enjoy and let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions